you need to move. This is where Loop 375 is going. TxDOT told the rescue mission of El Paso it had to move because it needed the homeless shelter's land to build the new road. The search for new land ended in central El Paso on North Lee Street, just east of Cotton. As KFOX 14 Morning News reporter Ashley Classer shows us, construction is almost complete on the new site. Out with the old, in with the new. The old facility had 120 beds. This one goes up to 195. Brick by brick. <laughs> Construction workers are finishing up the new rescue mission of El Paso. We're all human beings and we all deserve to be treated with love and kindness. Construction workers like Abraham Martinez. But Martinez isn't just a worker at the rescue mission. He was actually living there. He knows the type of person who will soon fill these rooms all too well. I had ran out of money and I couldn't find a job and everything was going kind of down. So I didn't really know where to turn and someone had told me about the rescue mission. He was homeless. Uh, we were able to get him on his feet and he now has his own place to live and he has a job. A job building the new rescue mission. The new location is more accessible and much bigger. Families with children, uh, the old facility had only 12 beds and we go to 32. For hospice and respite care we had 8 beds and we go to 16. And for single men, we had 46 beds at the old facility and we go up to 66. There's gonna be more happy faces walking through here and clean people and more bellies filled up. The help the rescue mission once gave Martinez has now come full circle. Every Saturday now with my own money, I, I'll make sandwiches and go around feeding people. He says people should never write someone off, even if they seem hopeless. They just need that one helping hand up and they can be a totally different person. I learned is to not look at, not judge people by their situation, as look at everyone as a flower that just needs to blossom. Ashley Claster, the KFOX 14 Morning News. Workers say they just need to make a few more finishing touches before residents start moving in in a couple of weeks. The rescue mission plans to hold an open house at its new home on October 26th.